it's unboxing day today so yes um three unboxings today all recorded at the same time after the other but i'm going to be spreading them out so you'll be seeing you were, you were seeing the threads yesterday you got this one today and then you got wizardry tomorrow so look forward to that one um FYI, anyone who's been waiting forward to it, um, it's the wizardry, not the wearables. And no, I don't, I haven't had the wearables yet. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but yeah, let me take a watch. I don't know why, but I don't like having things on my wrist when I'm doing these. It's just, I don't. Uh, some people do, but uh, anyway, today we've got the Zbox from Zavi, which I've, I think, this might be the last one I'm getting for a while because I cancelled the order for reasons. And this might be the last one because it was a three month order. Um, or they reprocessed it and it's an, another two months. Well, I guess we'll find out next month. But anyway, this is either early December or late November, but I think it's December. Um, does it sound the bottom? No, it doesn't. But anyway, um, £20 or, well, from £20, a little bit less if you go for a multiple month subscription, which is what I did with this one. Which is why they didn't cancel it straight away. Um, so yeah, depending on what you want to do. If you want to try out for a month, it's £20. If you want to try it, you know, if you want to risk it and go for a longer term period, the price just goes down, but you're, you're committed to that term period. No theme. Um, general geekery. Although I'm going to predict something Christmassy. I hope. I hope anyway, because it'll be nice. It'll be fun. And as always, pre quick preamble um, disclaimer. Um... Not everything, because it's not, because it's not, it might be themed, but I don't remember what the theme is. But not everything in here is going to be my fandom. Doesn't mean I say I don't, the items aren't good, it just means it's not for me. But the items, generally speaking, give me a quality item. So, anyway, that's the preamble out of the way. Let us get out the very sharp knife and uh, cut this baby open without showing off my dress. Oh. Here we go, just uh, concentrating. I actually cut a box um, the other day. I was cutting a, a piece of cardboard to get it smaller. And I cut it on top of the boxes. And I actually managed to slice into the edges of the boxes it was sat on top of. That was stupid of me. I like, completely cut the flap off. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, unboxing time. Alright, first of all we have bubble wrap! Oh, that's pretty. That's okay, that's um interesting colours. First of all, sorry headphone users. Ah, oh, sorry, that's just fun. Alright, this this interesting. I wouldn't necessarily say it's my fandom. Um, simply because I never really played these as a kid. I was um more Sonic when I was a kid. Um, but God, I love the colouring and the design. You ready? You ready? Ah! Oh my God, that is so 80s. That is so 80s. Bros since 1985. Super Mario Brothers, Mario and Luigi, 80s style. You bet I'm wearing the hell out of this. That is amazing. So yeah, I, am, I, do, I have played the old Mario game. I've got um, Luigi's Mansion as well. So I, I have played them. I just... You know, I grew up sort of more because we got a Mega System, Mega Drive, the one that came with Sonic the Hedgehog, and then I got um, I got into the Legend of Zelda games. So this one kind of missed me by. I, like I said, I played Mario games. I'm not like it's completely not my fandom. Um, but yeah, that is gorgeous. I like that. Big win. Uh, okay. Speaking of things that aren't. Oh, okay. Speaking of things that aren't necessarily my fandom. But I can totally get behind. Well, first of all, it's um, it's Rick and Morty. But it's a hip flask. <laughs> Let me just open this up. Because I'm an adult. By the way, children can have these. Children can order these boxes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Rick, typical Rick. Uh, get Swifty Rick and Morty. There's a bit of a schmuck. And it actually undoes. Like, is there a funnel? Uh, pack contains funnel for easy filling. 
so it must be in here. One second. Ah, there we go. Comes with a funnel. How very sweet. So, uh, I guess it doesn't have to be alcohol, does it? Is it metal all the way through? Because that would give it a tang, wouldn't it? Let me just, uh, this is just my water. See what it tastes like. See how well it works. Oh, uh, like I said, um, Rick and Morty. I still haven't actually got around to watching, and I will do. I've been meaning to. I found. I've, I've. I know how I can watch it. It's on Netflix, isn't it? So I can watch it on that. Okay. First of all, the funnel does its job, so that's a point. That's a good point. Oh, there we go. There we are. So, first of all, points to the funnel. Definitely does a good job. And then, uh, cheers. I would say it doesn't taste metallic -y, except for the fact I'm putting my mouth around the metal bit. Um, but it probably has got that new taste, so probably just as well I'd trade it with water first, because I can give it a wash. So yeah, Rick and Morty hip flask. <sighs> Not my fandom, but uh, I might use it just for the lols. <sighs> and it is well made. You know, it's it's solid and uh, yeah, but staying in there, it, I ain't getting wet. So uh, yeah, I like it. It's cute, and it it it's, it's a nice simple design, shiny, but simple, and it. Yeah, it's got your hip all right. So there we go, hip flask, because why not? And it is quite, they have probably got at least another ten, five to ten pound on its own. I, I'm sensing a theme. Now I'm definitely sensing a theme. Okay, uh, again, what I like, it's, um, you know, Batman's one of those fan things they can take or leave, but I grew up with, with, with the, uh, well, the repeats of the Adam West, well, it's probably the repeats of the repeats of the Adam West series. However, it is... As always, there's definitely a theme. It's a bottle opener. It's a bat bottle opener. But you know what? It's heavy. It's it's metallic. Oh, that's my dinner. Um, yeah. Nice, shiny. Got one of those uh, swingy loops. So I can probably put it on a key ring. Um, it's a bottle opener. Not much more I can say. And I'm going to have to go away for a second because my dinner's beeping one moment and i'm back hello um i never know how those edit because i never really watch these back so i never know how that looks as an edit but anyway so we have a theme we also have sticky plastic so we have a bottle open a hip flask definitely a theme the theme is not continuing but speaking of something that actually is my fandom Issue one, I don't know if this is one of the collector's covers or not. 13th Doctor, the very first story with the 13th Doctor. Um, oh, there's a nice splash page. There's a colourful fellow. Uh, as always, does it have a to be continued or is it a whole story? Uh, <coughs> there's multiple covers, actually, I'll show you. They, go, they put the pictures up. Uh, yep, it's to be continued. Oh. Regular variant cover gallery. Wow, there's like loads of variant covers. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Photo covers. Uh, different types of animated drawing. One like a sketch your own. They've got the Puppet Pal. Puppet Doctor. Retail exclusive covers. No, they haven't got the, um, the Puppet Doctor one. Um, As you may be aware... I'm a big fan of Doctor Who and Jodie Whittaker. I, in fact, I reviewed all of her series so far um, down below. So yeah, Doctor Who comic. Um, actually, I'm glad I, didn't, I was gonna I was vaguely. Th oh, I was gonna say I was in the comic shop the other day and I saw this on the shelf and I was vaguely considering buying it, but um, now I'm glad I didn't. But the reason I went, ooh, look at that! How's that for a centre page splash? Not sure what's going on with the dinosaur, but um, that's pretty. I like that. I've got blown up as a poster. 
Uh, but yeah, so artwork is sort of typical for other Doctor Who comics I've seen. Um, lots of nice bluey going on there. Uh, yeah, so uh, Doctor Who, Doc 13, issue one, that's a win. Right, and we want one more thing, and it is a coin. Oh, okay, and another coin I haven't got. This is what I'm liking about these coins. Because even though a lot of times they are not always my fandom, in fact most of them so far haven't been, but they're small, they're collectible, and so far, touch wood, I have not had a repeat of my coins in these boxes. And this time, as you can probably tell, it's Banjo-Kazooie! <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, because this is a game I definitely haven't played. Um, I've heard of it, I've definitely heard of it, but I don't think I've ever played it or even seen anyone play it. Um, is it is it theirs? Is it something else? Is it... Uh, it just says individually numbered. Which number did I get? But yeah, it's it's limited edition. It looks it looks like a fun game. So on the okay, so it's rare. I'm assuming that's the publisher. To play together. Oh, inspiring everyone to play together. So on the back, it's like just the rare. Logo, I guess. God, these things are hard to film. There we go. Uh, I don't know if that's focusing, but you, you get the idea. It's shiny. And on the front, number 2754. Not one of the lower ones. But we have our heroes and lots of symbols around the side that I assume have something to do with them. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't know if will force it to focus or not. Focus. You're not going to focus. It's just a phone. It's not a posh camera. But yeah, that's uh, that's neat. I like that. Um, like I said, Banjo Kazooie is not a game I've ever played. Or I don't think I remember playing it more than five minutes. But I like the coins. I'm getting quite a few of these now. I um, don't know what I'm going to do with them. So far, I'm just piling them up in my cupboard, in my display cabinet. So um, beyond that, I'm not sure what I'm doing with them. But uh, yeah. Got a coin. So, um, not a bad box. Uh, awesome t-shirt. Loving the, um, loving the Retro Mario. I mean, that's, that's about £10. I know these sell for about £15. So there's your price of your box straight away. Um, about a fiver for that. So we'll call it 25. Oh, what, 30, 30 quid? Yeah, 30 it's another 10 out of the comics about five or so 45 quid not bad at all i mean like i said not not all of it's my fandom but uh we got a couple of practical items we got a fun one we got a nice comic awesome t-shirt i'm calling this one a win and if you saw my threads box uh, yesterday you'll understand why i'm kind of happy about this one now so anyway i need to finish sorting out dinner and then do the other box so if you have been oh um sorry question i asked on my couple of boxes ago has these videos inspired you to try out any of these boxes for yourself if they have awesome thank you um or were, were you already getting them and we're just curious to see what other someone else's reactions to the items inside because i know i do that well, there's a couple of boxes i get that are, um an unboxing channel i used to watch and then we, i haven't stopped watching if you stop making them um, but yeah, I was like, oh, I get that box. I wonder what he thought. So, um, anyway, that's why I get them. And I'm just curious to know people's thoughts. And oh, I've just noticed this must be the, um, the Z Boss exclusive cover. So it is an exclusive. There we go. So anyway, I'm waffling a sort of dinner out. So if you have been, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You're awesome. I've been Michelle. You've been listening and I will see you next time. Bye.